What's up, guys? This is Jorge Yao back with another episode of Clash Royale Let's Play. Now, this is episode 10, I believe. Uh, I'm losing track now. Uh, I can't wait till I get to like episode 30 and uh, really lose track and lose my mind. But these episodes are a lot of fun. So I got some feedback on the last video where, you know, mixed feedback actually, feedback, sorry, um, where it's like, you know, keep the videos to like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, and some people are like, you know, they, they prefer the longer videos, you know, 30 minute videos, because it is actually pretty interesting and time flies for me when I'm recording these. Um, unfortunately, you know, there was a comment where, uh, you know, a viewer requested that um, I do a face cam while I'm playing. Uh, I am currently working on an overlay so that I can do that, uh, you know, with nice clean overlay and, you know, the gameplay and so on and so forth. So expect that in the future. I'm not going to do it for this video just for the sake of time and, you know, I want to give you guys, you know, continuous content. So. Uh, so I am working on that, I took your feedback and I am working on that, working on the overlay, but uh, enough of me ranting, let's go ahead and get into the meat of things. So uh, let's open up some free chests, some gold, always need some gold, got some mortar, you know, Valkyries, nice stuff. Another free chest, let's go ahead and open those, cool stuff, skeleton army. Let's go ahead and, uh, ooh, let's go ahead and request some cards. So what do I want to request, guys? Hmm. I think I want to request the Inferno Tower, but I'll go ahead and donate because I want to, uh, yeah, I'm going to donate, obviously, because I want to contribute. Now, this sucks. So, I was in a game, uh, the, was it yesterday or the day before, and it was my first game of the morning. I decided to play, and oh, man. I was like, I, ho I was hoping I wouldn't show up in this TV Royale thing, and I did. I lost against a guy who was level 8, and it was a stupid, stupid, stupid uh, game, basically. And, you know, props to the guy who was level 8 who won against me. But, uh, yeah, that was just like, oh, man, facepalm. Shouldn't have lost that one. Uh, new cards in the shop. Uh, nothing I really want to buy, to be honest. Uh, maybe I'll buy a few of these. Some more zaps. Uh, this is not even the zap, the, the lightning one that I use uh, in my previous video. But because it's such low, low amount of gold, I'll buy a couple of these just to back up. Uh, with this, you know, you want to optimize the uh, the rate, right? So obviously, you see the uh, the amount of gold increases each time you buy it, a new card. Um, but you know, it gets to the point where it's just it's not worth it, right? So right now at 149, yeah, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. 215, yeah, I'll buy it, you know, whatever, I'll buy it. Uh, even at 40, I'll buy it. But, you know, once it gets to like 2,000 for the epic freeze, you know, for one card, you know, is it really worth it? I do have 119,000 gold, but is it really worth it? I don't know. I don't know. So, um, but I don't really need, need that right now. What I really do need, though, oh, I've been waiting for it, is, oh, okay, I, I actually, uh, actually think I did get it, which I needed one rage spell uh, card to get me uh, a level up. And I did get that, so that's cool. So I'm using this deck currently. It works well. Skeleton King, uh, Barb's average elixir cost 4.1. Uh, you can see uh, I probably dropped in the local rankings a little bit. I am currently 27, so not that great. Uh, 26, 19. Uh, let me change this up because the focus of this video I want to show you guys is the Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower is great. I love it. Um, I want to. Mm, I'll try to use the Expo too as well. I forget what I used before, so I'm gonna look at my battle history and see. Look, plus 35, plus 22, plus 37, plus 22. Some pretty good ones, but I also had some pretty big defeats too. So what did I win with? So I won with this strategy uh, pretty well, but I want to focus on the Inferno Tower today uh, because you know I want to do a card highlight or a featured card. Um, in my video, so let's see. I don't think I have any battles with with the Inferno, uh, which which sucks because I, I want to do the Inferno. Hmm, hmm. What should I do? Should I focus on a different card then? Because I've already done Lightning. Uh, I've done maybe the Hog Rider. Maybe the Hog Rider. Oh, maybe the Skeleton. Ah, I got gotcha. you. I'll use the same deck that I just used, the Skeleton King. I'll use that one. I think because, you know, I, I've had some success with it already, so let's go ahead and do that. So, slight change of plans, but hey, you gotta adapt to it. So what cards did I use? Use that, a Barbs, and Witch. So let's go ahead and change to Barb. 
and then the Witch. So high elixir amount, so 4.1 average, which is pretty high, it's a pretty high amount, um, which kind of sucks, but, you know, this is a late game kind of deck, you know, so you have early game decks and you have late game decks. So late game decks, you really want to time out, I repeated this in an earlier episode where you want to time it out so that you, uh, you play more defensive in the first minute, uh, and then once it gets to the one minute mark, you're ready to pound the other player uh, and, and just spam things because the uh, the times to elixir is really crucial. And when you have a high elixir, average elixir deck, it actually kind of plays in your favor a little bit because uh, depending on what troops you use. So Hong Kong Esports, uh, 2553, he's level 10. So I'm gonna wait and see what he does first. I'm probably gonna drop my barbs. Yeah, I'm gonna drop my barbs. He goes right, my barbs, one goes left, one go, three goes right. Okay, he drops minions, that's fine. He's doing a little bit damage. That's okay, that's okay, I'm okay with that for now. Uh, and then he's got that. Okay, so I'm gonna use my witch. I probably dropped my witch a little bit late. Probably a little bit late. So, um, that prince is gonna charge. So that's why I wanted to use that card right there uh, so I'm gonna so he's doing some damage right now and I'm playing very defensively um, and it sucks I gotta use that freeze on my, on that uh, hog rider because that hog rider is gonna do a lot of damage that's a that's a pretty common combo actually is you drop the hog rider and then he'll wait for your freeze before dropping his freeze so um, that way you know your freeze um, runs out by the time his freeze you know so um, runs out before his so I'm waiting here. He's got the advantage right now slightly um, So I'm just waiting. I'm gonna drop my barbarians again. See how he reacts So I can tell he probably has less elixir than I do. I should have be, been keeping track So smart players what they do is they'll keep track of how much elixir they're spending So you know with a with a wizard like that. I know that he's spent some elixir already So that's good a good combo with the skeleton that I've seen is, uh, to be honest, is really uh, the Skeleton King with a, uh, so here. These little baby skeletons are great for the Prince. Great, because what happens is, uh, when he uses his charge, that's his main like damage dealer, is his charge. And uh, crap, I used that freeze in the wrong spot. But we're, we're even right now, we're pretty much even right now. He froze at the right time, and then now hopefully I can take him out before he charges, good. So we have two times two elixir, which is a good thing. I'm gonna put my horde there, put my uh, barbs there, and then uh, I'm gonna try to combo in with my skeleton. Uh, so my skeleton warrior, or my skeleton king. Cause that's the feature of this, is I wanna use my skeleton king. And so I'm gonna put my skeleton king, ah, can't even talk, skeleton king down. I'm gonna put that down, and I know I have a free spell left. Oh, once I get that, once I get the skeleton king towards the, uh, towards the, um, crown tower or the king tower that's when the things that's when things get interesting so I got my barbs oh I placed the barbs in the wrong spot I think really bad spot I think um, so I'm gonna do this again uh, he's got the slight advantage right now which is not good um, so 10 9 so this is gonna be sudden death this is gonna be sudden death Ooh, this is gonna be bad sudden death sudden death not good right now, not good right now. Things are not looking good right now. Because he's going to charge in and... Oh no, he won! Ah, see? Good play, good play. Uh, I didn't really want to get my... I didn't really get my combo off, so I lost 35 there. Again, it takes a little while to get into the swing of things, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another battle and use the same troop composition, because I want to show off that Skeleton King. So a lot of it has to do with, you know, I'm playing a level 8 guy, he's crying. Uh, but hey, I've, I've gotten beat by level 8, so, you know, it's anyone's game, really. Um, but the combo that I want is this. So you drop the Skeleton King. Oh no, Goblin Barrel again! No, no! I, oh, I made the mistake again. Again I made the mistake. Again I made the mistake. That is... Oh, that is unacceptable. Unacceptable. I should have tapped. I should have taken your advices, guys. I should have tapped, but I forgot. Uh, now, now I'm disadvantaged, so I'm gonna cry. Oh, I'm gonna cry. That goblin barrel should have. Ah, man. Ah, Jorge fails. Jorge fails. Ah, that's terrible. That is. That is awful. That's just. Ah. 
I mean, like, it's okay to make mistakes, but making the same mistakes over and over again, that's just unacceptable. That's dumb. It's okay, though. I will come back from this. And again, uh, like I said, it takes a while for you to, to kind of get into the groove of things again. Uh, you know, with, uh, with playing, you know, it takes a little while. Uh, so this time, I'm going to tap. This time, I'm going to tap. There you go. So I do some damage there, which is fine. Drop some skeletons to kind of distract. There you go. So the, the, the theory is, you know, you want to use that Skeleton King to kind of try to get as close to the tower as possible and then drop the Goblin Barrel right behind. So he's got the Hog Rider there. I'm dropping my uh, barbs there. And so that would distract the Hog Rider, uh, which, you know, he's still doing a lot of damage though, which is bad. Because uh, he's got it, my my troops frozen, really. Um, but I got got I have a free spell, so uh, I'm going to drop that free spell anytime now. Drop it. Oh, I should have dropped that split second later because then if I dropped this split second later, uh, it would have frozen those troops too. Those uh, little goblin shooting things. Okay, so I got the advantage now. But he's level eight, so I shouldn't be you know bragging about this because. Ah, uh, why am I dragging again? Ah, uh, I made the same mistake again. It's just habit. Habit. I need to really, like, tell myself, hey, stop dragging. Stop dragging. Just tap. Just tap. Just tap it if you tap. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. Just tap it in. That's all you gotta do. Just tap it in. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Oh, God. That is just... Ugh. I'm embarrassed now because it's just like... You know, so many of you guys have shared that, like, hey, why don't you just tap? Why don't you just tap? And I'm like, I know, I know, I know, I should, I should tap. And, oh, God, I should tap, but I not, which is kind of crappy. <laughs> which is really crappy. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, I thought I froze him. I thought I froze him. I thought I froze him. No, 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 no. Okay, well, it's GG anyway, because uh, I'm going to go in with all of my troops and take out his uh, his tower, his main tower. Uh, there we go. I mean, nothing to brag about, well played. He, it was actually well played because, you know, you know, I have a clear advantage. I was level 10, he's level eight, so. Um, so back to 2600, go for another game. Um, guy game, uh, named again, 2668, so I can win some trophies from this guy, which is great. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's up. I'm not gonna drop my skeleton guy yet, my king yet. Uh, oh, see, I'm trying to tap and it's not working now. <laughs> ah, see, I, you do one thing and you try to get it right and it doesn't work. And you try another thing and it still doesn't work. Ah, just anger, anger, straight anger. So now I'm gonna tap. Now I am going to tap and I'm gonna do it right. I'm gonna tap, it's tapped, it's tapped, doing some damage, good stuff. Um, and that's all I needed was just just some damage on him. Not too much. Uh, put wizard down just to I hate huts. I hate huts. I wish I had might lightning spell. So this is not my normal deck. I'm just doing this to highlight. Uh, even though I won three in a row before this episode, uh, you know, I was just I'm really just doing this just to ah, I hate that. I hate that. So he's going in rush right now. Uh, good thing I have barbs there. So I'm gonna put my archers down um, to take out that expo. I hate that expo. Uh, you know, and I'm gonna put some skeletons down. So he's doing this the skeleton the expo uh, inferno combo, which is pretty decent actually. It's a good combo, but um, you know, it's hit or miss. Sometimes I use it and it works well. Sometimes I use it and it doesn't work well. So you know, that's just one of those things where it really comes down to what cards you have and you know how you're playing and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna put this uh, giant skeleton down. Hopefully that level eight uh, inferno is you know, finished by then. I'm gonna drop my Goblin Barrel, and then hopefully, uh, you know, I'll do some work there. He uses arrows, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna use a free spell, and that should take down some of his huts, which is a good thing. Put some stuff behind him. Uh, the good thing about the giant skeleton that you guys have to realize is you wanna get him as close to buildings as possible, because look, whenever he dies, he, uh, he generates a, or a bomb, a really big bomb, and he blows up basically everything in sight. Everything in sight. So, um, that's one good thing. Ah, oh, no, that's not good. Okay, so he uses barbarians, and now I'm gonna have to use a hut on this, uh, 
on this level 8 Inferno Tower, which I hope I can kind of take out really quickly. Uh, if I can take it out, that'd be great. Put my giant skeleton down, and then I'll go from there, put another witch behind, which is great for that, um, you know, to drop behind that. I'm gonna try to freeze. I'm using my tap now, guys. I'm using my tap. You should be proud of me. I'm using my tap. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm doing pretty well, pretty well. Witches are awesome. Um, he's trying to take down... Oh, no, I got one witch, and he's... Oh, no, no, no. Okay, he's trying to take down my, uh, my uh, tower on the left side, and he's doing a lot of work, and I should be... Ah, this is going to be a close one, guys. This is going to be a close one. This is next win, next, next, uh, next, um, whatchamacallit, ah, I can't even talk. The next tower wins, guys, the next tower wins. Ah, uh, and I can't, so I'm gonna drop the Goblin Barrow there. I'm gonna see if, oh no, he's got that, he, he, he's got it, he's got that, uh, ooh, I hate that thing, I hate that thing. It's terrible. It's got the Inferno. I'm gonna try to take out that expo because that's the that's the thing that I'm afraid of is the expo. Expo is really what I'm afraid of. Um, so he's gonna try to go left side. I don't have anything to really counter. I wish I had spells, um, which I don't. Oh man! Hopefully those barbs go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Boom! 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 Yes! 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 There we go. There we go, guys. There we go. Ah. Uh, that was plus 35, so I'm up in the rankings, uh, you know, further up than I was before. That was a close match, though, but it was even, it was close. I made some mistakes, but uh, all in all, it just shows the power of that, uh, that Skeleton King. I think it's called the Skeleton King, is it? Giant Skeleton, sorry, I've been calling it wrong this whole entire time. But Giant Skeletons are great. Uh, reason being is, you know, if they swarm you with it, It'll kill everything that swarms with it when he dies. Uh, the goal is to get that Skeleton King as close to their Crown Tower as possible because that bomb that he drops, if he's right next to the Crown Tower and taking out one of the Crown Towers, or hitting it at least, that bomb will like destroy that Crown Tower really quickly. Um, so that's one of the advantages. So that does it for this video. I did two attacks on uh, using the Skeleton, um, the... Uh, keep forgetting the name, Giant Skeleton, should be Skeleton King, Giant Skeleton. The two battles, uh, you know, that I won and one battle that I lost. So I broke even on the one that I lost, so negative 35 and plus 35, and then I won plus 22. And then, uh, so basically I'm up plus 22 today, uh, you know, and I'll probably, I'll probably make a push for uh, top 10, probably this weekend when I have more time. Uh, right now I'm at 23, so I went up a, a you know a couple couple ranks, but you know I want to be top 10, so I will try to make a push probably later later this week. But I will give you guys progression along the way and show you guys some more live uh, more live games because you guys love watching the live games. I'll probably splash in some more Clash of Clans videos because we haven't done some in a while. I have an awesome defensive base where I won three defenses in a row in Clash of Clans, uh, which got me pretty high in the leaderboards. Um, you know, I got, I hit 4,500 something trophies, uh, so I'll do a video on that soon. Um, it's just this game, you know, you know, once you get into rhythm of doing let's plays, you know, I just want to keep going and keep going. And it's just a lot more fun to watch live, right, when I'm doing live gameplay. I can't really do live gameplay on, uh, on Clash of Clans because, because, you know, at that trophy level, you're not finding anything. You're just going to watch clouds all day, so... Um, so that's not very exciting, so you're just watching replays. This one you can watch live ones. So that does it for this video, guys. Thanks again for watching. Uh, again, this is Jorge Yao. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.